little bit here and along here, clean up along here. Uh, it's hard to see um, because the light is shining this way, but when you turn it around, there's, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be cleaned up. It will still require another coat, I'm sure. And then a second coat along here. Um, if you go back in past videos, you'll see places like right here and right there are dogs' breakfasts. And in fact, you can see that there's a very distinct line where the old plaster ends and the new plaster begins. Um, <clears throat> and a bunch of sanding, 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 always sand. Oh, and yeah, I, I got here. Unfortunately, just down here, when I put on the corner bead, I did it, um, I guess, quite poorly. So there's a little bit of buckling at the edge here. So I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I, I may uh, end up just putting uh, baseboard all along the, the risers to hide that area because it's, um, it's awful and I don't know how to fix it. Okay, so there's that. Um, it's getting to the point where I should soon be able to prime. I don't know when though. I, I learned this lesson in the back half. Um, you know, 95, maybe 98, 99% of it has been filled now. Um, but I'm, you know, uh, lighting is poor. So when I get good lighting and I start looking, I'm sure I'll find a ton of flaws. And every time I find a flaw, I fill it. I, that means 24 hours delay because you have to wait for it to dry before you can sand it before you can prime it. So that's the dance that's probably gonna start um, this week. So I'm hoping that I'm able to prime on the weekend. Uh, I, I'd be quite pleased and impressed if I manage that. And I think that's it for tonight. Yeah, all right, have a good one.